I'm going to show you a trick that I learned in college for interpreting uh, signed values. The if this is an unsigned value, first of all, let's let's pretend we have a register that can only store nibble. So it's it's real simple. There's only four bits uh, possible in our register, and you'll notice that as I teach things binary, uh, I do I do it with fewer bits than usually the normal 32 or even 16 or 64 bits. The concepts are the same no matter how many bits you have. It's just a matter of of applying the concept to more bits. It's, it doesn't really matter. So I like to teach with as few bits as possible simply so it's easy for me to teach and it's also easier for you to digest. But the concepts are still the same no matter how many bits there are. So we have this register. It can only store four bits. Uh, the le leading bit is our sign bit. The, that is, if we're interpreting this as signed, if it's unsigned, it's it's real simple. It's eight plus two makes ten plus one and is eleven or B in hexadecimal. Um, but with two's complement notation, it's it's a little different. It's not that straightforward. Uh, the naive approach, which is not the correct approach, is to say, well, this bit is turned on, thus this value is negative, and then I'll interpret the rest of the bits as a normal unsigned value. So uh, four or not four, two plus one would be three. So you may think that this represents negative three, but it turns out that such is not the case. The reason we use two's complement notation is because it it uh, it's a little more optimal. It gives us an extra value, and you'll see that as you work out the wrestle. So let's just get rid of this, and I'll show you how to interpret this value using two's complement. And I'm going to put some comments in here just so Visual Studio doesn't get in my way and buff it with some spaces. Okay, so first thing with interpreting a two com two's complement value is to say, is the sign bit turned on? If the sign bit is not turned on, you can interpret the value as is. That is, say instead of having a one here, it's a zero, meaning this value, the, the entire value is positive. Well, in that case, you just interpret it as 2 plus 1 is 3. But that's not what we had. We had a 1 here, meaning the value is negative. So we must use a 2's complement trick. And the trick is you take the rest of the bits, not including the sign bit, and you first invert them. So uh, a 0 inverted would be a 1, and 1 inverted would be 0, and the next one will be a 0 as well. And then you add 1 to it, much like you do in elementary school math. I've set this up so I have 100 zero zero plus 1. And remember, it's binary. It's not decimal. So we only can have two digits. So, so 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus nothing is 0. And 1 plus nothing is 1. Well, what is this value? We, we, at that point, here's the result, and we can interpret it as a normal positive binary value. And this value is 4 plus 1, which is 5. And remember that we the whole reason we did all this is because this bit was turned on. So that will make this a negative 5. So this here is equivalent to negative 5 in decimal. Um, so let me just write out the instructions real simple. If the sign bit is not set, interpret the bits as is. Otherwise, I'm going to indent this a little bit like a code block. Otherwise, um, t uh, take the non sign bits. You know what? Let's just say invert, invert the non-signed bits, add 1, convert to decimal, and add negative sign. So if the sign bit is not set, just interpret it. Otherwise, invert all the non-signed bits, that is, everything not including the sign bit here, the most significant bit, add 1 and then convert it to decimal and drop the negative sign out in front of it.